Edie Lush, and I'm here in the Hub Culture Pavilion. I'm here very kindly. Uh, we've got Ambassador Tibor Tok. Thanks very much for coming. Nice to be with you. The Executive Secretary of the Nuclear Test Ban Treaty Organization. Now tell me, you've been doing a lot of work over in the WEF, especially around issues of security. What, what's your thought on that? Uh, there was a panel yesterday. It's a global security context and a very interesting discussion. Uh, what is coming out of the discussion? Number one, transformation change is going on. There is a shift of power from the west to the east. In the words of Joseph Nye, mm -hmm. it's one of the defining forces. The other one is what is a vertical power diffusion at the substate level. Uh, the public opinion, the media, they demand a bigger say in security matters. What was interesting, the focus on Asia, the reminder that yes, the economy and the finance, they are important assets. But probably security is an asset to manage as well in a responsible way. And the, and the message is probably uh, the economy is stupid, mm -hmm. as one slogan, which is still a defining slogan, right. but one could add the security, comma, stupid. <laughs> uh, the issue is how far there is insurance policy for the future how far softer tools, mm -hmm. soft diplomacy, uh, soft power will be added to, to, to the economic power which is coming from Asia. Uh, from that perspective, uh, Europe was not part of the discussion. There's less concern about Europe, mm -hmm. but there's a reference to the European example of Franco-German reconciliation. Franco-German reconciliation mm -hmm. which happened practically after three wars were fought. Uh, mm -hmm. with Germany and, and with France, mm -hmm. but in a much wider context. So how would that work in Asia? How would we see some kind of rec reconciliation in the Asian countries? I think the message is that uh, integration and reconciliation uh, go hand in hand. So economic integration. Economic mm -hmm. integration. So the, the uh, security is not just about military security. Mm -hmm. It's uh, what can be described as a multi-stake security where, yes, it's economic, financial security, security of the jobs, security of the well-being, but in addition to that, the other elements, again, soft power, brain power, mm -hmm. reputational power, mm -hmm. and there was a reference to people power as well. Mm -hmm. So all that comes together in a way where all these different assets will have to be managed. The issue is, okay, what is, which can be taken over? The European integration was... It started with the Rome Treaty mm -hmm. back in the late 1950s, but it was preceded six years by what was called the European uh, Coal and Steel Community. Mm -hmm. Why coal and steel? Because these were the war-fighting commodities. Mm -hmm. Today, these are nuclear, chemical, biological, and it can be nano and it can be cyber. Mm -hmm. So there is a need to, to have a transparency uh, responsive, responsible use of these commodities, if possible to bring them under, under one roof. I happen to, to chair what is called Weapons of Mass Destruction, a very, a very uh, concerning name yeah. for a council. And what we are trying to do in the council is to come forward with, with practical solutions, mm -hmm. which not just in a regional context like Asia, but in a wider context could be used as well. Again, increased transparency and, and again, having a reconciliation, having improved relationships, confidence building measures between nations. This is the core of prosperity. Ambassador Toad, we're going to have to leave it there very sadly. I think we could talk all day, but thank you so much for stopping by the Hub Culture Pavilion here in Davos, and I'm Edie Lush. Thank you so much. Thank you.